Sometimes I forget driving along. I get so busy with what there is to do in the property. I just forget to realize how pretty it is around here, the farmlands and stuff like around here. And, and uh, yeah, just course with wildflowers coming out in spring. You gotta stop and smell the roses. You gotta count your many blessings every day. You gotta find your way to heaven. It's a rough and rocky road. If you don't stop and smell the roses along the way. Welcome back to Ray's Cabin Adventure, episode number six. El numero seis. In this episode, we're going to be working on the floor trusses, the floor framing, and putting in the subfloor. I've uh, got some dimensions on this model, as you can see. And uh, these are most of these are 2x12 on the outside perimeter and 2x10 on the inside here. Um, and this being about a dimension of about 16 feet in the center. So those are full length boards and this side being close. It says 23 and a half on my screen but it's probably 24 and I had to split that in the middle of course so those are 12 footers there and I wanted to mention too uh, while I have these two together I've also have a in reality I put a three-quarter piece of plywood in between and so created a laminated beam which you'll see in the upcoming video. So this is the floor framing and you've got your straps here. You mean joist hangers? Yeah, that's what I meant. Which uh, hold the boards on there, and those are nailed into the sides there. On here, oh, and those are spaced at uh, 16 inches on center. I knew that. Genius. Which gives you a nice sturdy floor. Super sturdy. So now you can see the subfloor is on there. And, and of course, this dimension with the 16 foot, these are 4 by 8 sheets. And so I had to run a little bit over by the time I had the thickness of both sides of that. So we end up with a piece here on the end. And that's pretty much how I ended up building it, was that. And this is like a, uh, kind of like an OSB board for flooring, but it has a tongue and groove right here in the middle, so they join together uh, pretty tightly and very sturdy for a uh, subfloor. Some days are just harder than others. You know, I got this loaded up, the wood loaded up on this trailer, and uh, got up the mountainside here, and I'm about halfway up, and then realized we got a little bit of a problem here, boys and girls. I'll say. Look at this thing. Can you believe that? Oh, I believe it. You know, I didn't put this thing together myself. I had somebody else do it. And Blame game. I don't know. Maybe the nuts were just loose or whatever, but this is just not good. Somebody's got to screw loose. That's enough. Oh, gosh. Well, at least it didn't come off on the highway. Praise God. <sighs> well. <sighs> Breathe. I just got this stuff hauled up there to the top of the wood. I got to tell you, I'm... It's hot. It's another beautiful day out here, but man, is it hot. It's just clear, and I'm, I'm about to die. I'm about to, I'm about to puke, honest. Dude, TMI. Uh, anyway, we'll get started here in a minute, but they're up there. I forgot to mention that between last week and this week, it's pretty much sp spring is in full bloom here as far as the uh, leaves coming out in the trees. You can't even see the boulders up there anymore. It's amazing what just a week will be like. I mean, a week difference does. I mean, it's all green and lush, and... I guess before I go up there, I, I gotta, I gotta find the bathroom. Where did I put that? Oh yeah, over there somewhere. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Again, TMI. Seven o'clock in the evening, April twenty-fourth. Just taking a break here from building that last. Well, not the last beam, the second beam, really. But just looking out over the valley, watching the mist and the sun, just the haze on the mountains. It's just beautiful. I know it doesn't show up well in this, but all the colors of the green of spring, and then the sun setting behind the mountain again. I'll probably work a little longer. I don't think there's gonna be a moon tonight though, so. Okay, April 25th, um, Monday, I'm back here still doing some more beams. In the morning after that trailer fiasco of leaving the wood down at the bottom there, we'll have to see if I can get some help and fix the trailer and then get it up. But I wanted to say, look, it's not totally, I mean, it's sunny and hot today, but, there are some clouds today, which is a little bit different than usual. Still beautiful, though, having the clouds over the valley. Beautiful. And uh, looks like there might be some rain coming here soon. Sure, I just washed the car. Did not. Maybe it'll be a little bit cooler. That'd be fine with me. Here we are. We've got the, the main beams are up and looking good and level. And I've just jiggled them around and leveled them off. And 
uh, started bracing them and uh, everything looks really good and believe it or not I did the diagonal measurements and they came out to like 28 and 4 and 1 8th I mean they were off like an eighth of an inch which is just amazing that's awesome I mean I was going to settle for an inch or two but uh, eighth of an inch is just incredible that it's uh, that close You're the man. so everything looks good and I've got the string up here I don't know if you can see it here there's a little string I set up uh, it goes out to each corner and just got a little screw or nail holding it on the corner there and that's to see this beam because this beam here needs to be straight and so you just tighten up the string on each corner and then follow the string as far as the beam and the reason it's it's not straight right now is because i had it as one beam but right here in the center as we were lifting it i was lifting it up and it just snapped in between the plywood not the man so it ended up being two beams again which is fine because it is on this concrete post and it really is two separate beams because i'm going to have a um, one going across here anyway so it's fine i just was trying to keep it together to keep it straight it didn't work out but it's good in the end all's well that got it just another Touchy. angle of everything here and yes once again uh just a gorgeous gorgeous day here hot definitely hot definitely out in the sun all day long again very very hot but let me guess beautiful. it's hot i feel my temperature uh, rising now maybe you should my... see a doctor i don't need a doctor i need some peace and quiet okay. a doctor <laughs> no Until next time actually i'd like to pause the video here to let you know that there is a injury that's coming up that i'm going to show which does show a little bit of blood for the viewers who are sensitive you may want not want to uh look at this and just skip ahead we're gonna need a doctor maybe okay first injury here told you uh slipped my hand on that stupid sheet metal stuff trying to move it around underneath these beams here and uh yeah i think i'm gonna faint that's not then good, don't look but uh anyway we'll get it wrapped up here should have warned the kids not bad it's just i did really bad but anyway Probably shouldn't have showed that last video to Amber. Me so either. anyway, that band aid wasn't gonna stay on, so we're out here working. So, you know, we got the old uh, handyman secret weapon, duct tape, orange duct tape, baby, too. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. I might start a fashion trend or something here. Or something. How to hold me up till I get out of here, go home, wash it up, and try to get it uh, bandaged. All right. So here we are again out on the site. Uh, it's I don't know about eight o'clock in the morning now, and got a few supplies over there at the hardware store. And uh, nice morning out, 60 degrees. A little overcast, uh, cloudy here, but that's just beautiful with me. That works great. Anyway, getting started here. <clears throat> what we've got to do is we've got to hang these uh, truss hangers uh, up on this beam here so that we can have our support. Floor joists. Um, floor trusses going across here. So I've Close got my chalk line here and chalk box and <clears throat> measured down the depth of those uh, floor trusses going across and then just pull this tight. Uh, your chalk line there and then pop a line on the wood and that's going to give us our measurement and which we're going to then take these and hang these at the proper spacing of uh, 16 inches apart going across the top here so i think that's about it we'll get started nailing here too and um yeah i got my hand from yesterday kind of bandaged up under there actually it's just more duct tape and some oh that's nice clean paper towels and i'm gonna keep it in the glove today so it should be fine who needs a uh, doctor Okay, so we're making some progress. It's about the middle of the day now. It's starting to really get hot. And uh, anyway, I'm getting there, putting in the floor trusses there. Coming along rather nicely. Looking good. Got most of my brackets up on the other side there. Don't have them up on this side yet, but got to take a break for lunch. Where are we going, Mexican? Oh yeah, chips and salsa, baby. Woohoo, and queso too. Queso? You don't eat queso. I need queso and guac. And guac? Are you paying? Thought you were going to cover me. Not for guac. Cheapskate, gringo. Anyway, you know, life just throws obstacles at us constantly. And here's one. I finally put a rock there to step over this thing. But this thing is just at the right height as I'm putting these on here. It's, it's too high or it's too low to go under well without just crawling on the ground kind of thing. And, and then straddling the top of this is, uh, yeah, it's it's not comfortable. Let's just, <laughs> let's just say that. TMI again. And, uh, but anyway, just... With life, you just got to keep working through and just keep going and keep going one step at a time. So getting close to the end of the day here. Looks like we're doing pretty good. We got a couple more to go on the end there. Uh, I'm going to be putting on these brackets, these uh, X brackets here that will crisscross. And uh, I'm just going to walk out here while I'm doing the phone over this hole here without falling in. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Uh, anyway, there's uh, I got a little jig there that's just kind of to space it as I go and then these X's will go across the beams here in the middle that'll kind of give it some stability. Even when the plywood's on there, it'll keep up the bottom of the board square. And uh, the first strap I dropped down there somewhere, but we'll get that tomorrow. 
Another beautiful warm warm day and got all my straps in, all the boards up and uh, ready for plywood. I have to go get the plywood first, but ready for plywood. Okay, so we got, uh, if you can see in the background here. Who's we? It's just you. Got my plywood hauled up there. The, Dude, take a breath. I'm trying. The truss said framing's all done. I got the plywood out. The truck couldn't make it up the mountain. Uh, up the drive, so I kind of had to stay in that parking area down there, and I had to haul the plywood up from there. And uh, yeah, he couldn't make it. I hope the ambulance can make it though, because <laughs> I might need one soon. You got oh. that right. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the plywood down, and I've got to see my blue marks there. Every four feet out, I kind of chalked a line all the way across there to keep everything square. I'm gonna go down with this, uh, yeah, subfloor construction adhesive by. Ace. Hey, you think Ace will sponsor us? Hmm, they might. Have your people call them. You are my people. Well, there goes that idea. Anyway, we're going to glue all that down uh, before we nail it. And we'll nail it as well. And um, I know, my brothers, I can just hear them now. How about just get busy and getting it done and quit talking? Dittos. Enough said. And now it's time to get to work. <laughs> Started laying some plywood last night into the evening. And uh, we'll finish up this morning. Okay, here we are at the end of the day, close to the day. I'm pretty much the end of the day for me, and as you can see, I got most of all the deck done here on top of the subfloor. So this is all the subfloor, and looking pretty good. And so I'm laying on my back here. I'm thinking of my friend Lance. I'm looking at the clouds, and it kind of looks like a head there. You know, actually kind of looks like me as I'm standing there then. I see Mickey. Really? You've been hanging around Lance too much. Totally. Anyway, that's for you, Lance. Looking at the clouds, I'm sure you could make better shapes and stuff out of it than I can. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for this episode. I'd like to leave you with Psalm 18.2. Oh, can I do it? Sure. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Well said.